What's up, y'all? Got another bike check for you today, and this is the uh, Crust Wombat, and this is a size medium. Um, this is a ATB single speed uh, bike that recently came out in the past year. Uh, this is Garrett's um, signature frame that he built up. Um, I believe it was uh, fairly similar to a Surly one, one by one. Um, in terms of its uh, kind of capabilities and specs, but just a little bit more modernized. Um, some of the things that I really like about this bike is that uh, it feels basically like an adult BMX. Um, it has <clears throat> a uh, 650B wheel set platform um, with cantilever brakes. And um, so it, it makes it for a playful uh, ride and you just basically want to just jump off curbs in front of your house. So um, Kind of go through the specs here and um, Tell you what it's all about. This is a uh, 650B wheel set. These are the um, velocity cliffhangers um, These are are built pretty bomb proof and um, the spokes here are basically a two millimeter uh, spoke throughout um, with uh, some brass nipples. Uh, this is a, um, a Paul Components uh, hub. And um, yeah, the spacing, it's just a, a quick release. So the spacing is just the uh, 100 millimeter wide. Uh, so you can see here, it's kind of got the old school BMX style of dropout here. The rear is a similar matching hub with Paul components. Again, this is a 32 hole rear uh, single. This is actually a fixed uh, hub. Uh, got confirmation from Paul himself that you can run a single speed cog in that area here. So you can see that it works and it's good. There's enough threads there um, to to hold it. So it's good to go you know I did try this bike as a fixed uh, as a fixie and I'm not a fixie kid and didn't grow up with it or anything and it was a little bit of a, a challenge for me to kind of get used to it but um, it I did get this hub because I wanted to kind of play around with it and just figure it out but um, yeah I kind of sw swapped it back to a single speed just because that's for me that my application um, it's just something that I'm more comfortable with. So yeah, same uh, rear uh, hub uh, with Paul, Paul components and the, the rim and spokes are all the same. Uh, the brakes on here are some old school XTRV brakes. These are the, um, the 950s and the front is the same. Yeah, and the uh, the brake levers here are also the matching XTR levers. Again, I got these um, on eBay, and um, not a, not too expensive. This stem is a 70 millimeter Paul Components boxcar stem, four bolt in the front, um, and this was off of my uh, Black Mountain Cycles, a La Cabra build, if you remember. So I just took that and used it here. And this is a White Industries uh, headset. And the saddle is a, a Brooks Cambium C17. The C17, this is a little bit of a wider platform here. I think it's like a 156, I want to say. It's actually pretty comfortable. You can see that it's well worn and used. I actually got it off of somebody who included it with a purchase that I made with a rack. And so they gave it to me for free. Um, it actually looks a little bit more worn, but it's actually in pretty good shape overall. It just has a little bit of surface wear. Um, the seat post here is actually a dropper and that's from PNW. Uh, PNW has this like 
design here normally, but I covered it with some black electric tape. It has like a white like lines. It's not, I don't think it's aesthetically pleasing. And, you know, I forgot what the model of it was, but I want to say it's a 27.2 compatible dropper. I think the drop is maybe about 120 millimeters long or, or so. And uh, this is a uh, Paul Components shift lever. So in black, so that activates the uh, saddle. These, the grips on here is the Ergon GE1s. Um, they're pretty comfortable for me. This is the uh, knockoff Spur Cycle Bell, but it's actually the Rock Bros version. You could tell the fit and finish of these are not as quality as the Spur Cycle. Um, if you're on a, a budget, this does work. But um, you can just tell like it has a little, this finish of the actual bell portion here is not as nice. Um, the handlebars here are Nitto brush bars. And this is uh, made by Crest. And um, these are pretty nice. They have a little bit of rise. They are, I believe are um, 760 millimeters wide. And let's see here. This is a saddlebag that I got from Ringtail. Um, it's um, something that I've had for a long time and it works well. Nowadays, a lot of people have um, like a volley strap here to tighten it, but it, it clamshell works well. Uh, the drivetrain here is a uh, White Industries single speed cog on the rear. It's a 22 tooth. And the front crank set is a White Industries um, M30. And uh, this has a bronze little cap there. Um, the front chain ring is a 34 tooth. So I'm running a 34-22, and this bike primarily I ride on my um, local loop here um, in Los Angeles, and it usually consists of about 10 miles and about 1,500 feet of climbing. So this is kind of perfect for that as a single speed. It's a good workout. The pedals here are Stamp um, 7. Um, so what's different about the different stamp levels, like you'll see stamp like one, two, three, um, seven, etc. This is basically the platform is a little bit more shallow. And as you get to the lower models, they're a little bit more thicker. I like this because it has a little bit more of a slimmer profile and the feet, the feet grabs pretty well. And you can see that the pins here are higher and then it goes lower and then higher. So these are kind of my go-to mountain biking pedals. I'm rocking a Tadeco, Silica Tadeco um, seat pump or pump, uh, mini pump that attaches to the, um, the bottle cages. And these bottle cages are the stainless steel versions of the King Cage. So they work pretty well. Um, you can kind of notice that the uh, routing here of the cables goes underneath and it's held on by these. These are, I think, aluminum um, machined clips, which I do like. Um, so you can see that it, it goes down. And this is to hold uh, the cable for my uh, dropper post. Now what's cool is they do sell this version but you can actually have it, this is only on one side, but you can get them that where they hold two cables. So what you can do is if you wanted to run actually this bike as a geared bike, which some people do, just you can either replace this, not have a dropper, or if you want a dropper, get the two, the one that has two uh, holders for cable, run a shifter cable down, and you can new bomb strap it here 
and have um there's a, a i think it's a problem solvers uh little gizmo here that basically allows you to have a um a derailleur hanger so you can have a hanger and then you, i won't be able to do it because i have a single speed um, or fixie hub but if you have a normal um, 135 width um, hub and wheel set you could do that so if you look online you'll see like guys at blue lug have done that and um, it makes this bike a little bit more versatile but um, yeah other than that i think that's it for this um the tires i'm running are 2.5 terravail a lines um, I ran, I have these also in 29, um, that I use, that I use also used on the La Cabra. And, um, I really like these cause the center thread, it's not the most versatile tire. It does do pretty well on the road, um, because of these center knobs here. Um, it's a little noisy, but it, it if you don't have too many miles to go, it does okay. Um, but it's really, I think, a good compromise for kind of having some road, but mostly mountain, gravel, rocky chunk. It does really well. I would say if you have like 25% road and 75% um, gravel, mountain, single track, this tire is very good. Um, yeah, I think the, the tan wall color is pretty good on these uh, Terra Veils. Um, I think that's it. There's a, uh, this is just like a little ghetto sewn handmade bag that I made with leftover fabric. So yeah, it just has like a fall lace strap here holding onto it. You can tell that, you know, I didn't like line it or anything or like trim it up very well, but it does what, it's, you know, I can put a camera on my phone, wallet in there and it works well. Anyhow, that's my Crest Wombat. If you have any questions, comments, um, suggestions, please hit me up in the comments and uh, we'll talk later. Thanks.